Hi all, thanks for joining the discussion on Enterprise Architecture Planning. My name is Arindam and I am working as a Key Accounts Manager in Quadrant Knowledge Solution. Let me introduce to your today's panel. We have from analyst team Mr. Amandeep, Ms. Sophia and Ms. Akansha, Accounts Manager. Enterprise Architecture is a strategic and comprehensive blueprint for, of how IT infrastructure will be used across an organization to help meet the organization's goal. It's commonly understood to be a practice or discipline of, of organizing process that promote an in, IT infrastructure in support of successful business practices. So what are the benefits of enterprise architecture? It decreases complexity, it provides standardization, it reduces time, it saves cost, and it's a, a strong security purpose. So let's get some basic insights from our analyst team about how different technologies that supports enterprise architecture planning. Thank you for the lovely introduction, Arindam, and for sharing some snippets about EAP domain. So Amandeep, what's your take on the EAP domain as you have conducted various research on this domain? Thank you, Akansha. So talking about enterprise architecture planning domain, it has vast range of capabilities that allows organizations to like provide a holistic or unified view of the entire organization's light right, from people, processes, ID infrastructure, project and programs that can create value for an organization. The main purpose of enterprise architecture planning is to align the business objectives to every department of the organization to, so that they can collaborate with each other and you know organizations can achieve their desired goals. We have done various studies around this domain which includes enterprise architecture tools, uh, project and portfolio management, digital development of an organization that is DTO and yeah and a recent one very hit that is strategic portfolio and management and our upcoming study which includes enterprise agile planning you know this this will give an overall view to the users of the all the technologies that is necessary for planning executions of the business goals and objectives so yeah that's what from my side thank you akansha thank you amandeep for sharing such valuable information with us so just to know from your end sophia as you have a study coming which is enterprise agile planning uh, so, would you like to throw some light on the emerging trends? Thank you, Akansha. So, before talking about the trends that are emerging into the into enterprise architecture planning market, uh, I would like to give a small introduction about uh, what is an EAP tool and why should organization utilize uh, or adopt this tool into their daily practices. So, this tool helps organization uh, to scale their agile practices across various departments um, to provide a holistic view of uh, all the teams that are working in on various projects and portfolios in an organization and um, it has been evolved from a software development life cycle which was previously used by uh, a software development team and now because of its agile uh, approach it has been utilized by every other department in an organization uh, which includes uh, project teams portfolio teams and other task management teams so some of the trends that we have came across after getting some of the vendor briefings and continuous uh, research on this enterprise architecture pl planning domain uh, so the first one is a hybrid planning approach, uh, which includes both the method of agile and waterfall approach uh, for uh, team members to utilize according to their needs uh, for having specific compliance, security and collaboration needs. The another one is uh, um, uh, implementation or moving toward adopting scale agile framework. Um, uh, which was uh, previously the first generation first generation agile methods and uh, it was only utilized uh, by a single team but uh, because of scale agile framework uh, many teams can work in an agile environment and collaborate with each other and the last one that we came across is that the vendors who were offering uh, project and portfolio management uh, strategic portfolio management and value stream mapping and management uh, softwares are moving toward offering EAP tool uh, features in the market. Um, so these were some of the trends uh, that we have came across um, and this is how we are uh, conducting this research. So thank you Akansha. Thank you Sophia and Amandeep for sharing such a beautiful overview about EAP domain as we have a study coming which is enterprise agile planning and it has touched almost its ending and we are flooded with various emails from several end users. I would like to invite vendors from this market to be part of this fascinating research process and engage with us through various briefing sessions and be part of it. Let's connect 
on YouTube, Twitter and LinkedIn for more such insightful videos. Stay tuned.